What's going on, you guys? Raider Nation. Sorry if my uh, lighting is bad, but Raiders win. And the Raiders win 21-18 against the Steelers. Uh, so many things that went wrong this game and so many things that went right. Uh, first of all, of course, as always, I talk about the negatives. Uh, conservative play calling. That was one of them. They got conservative that entire, the entire second half. There was nothing. Maybe one or two first downs and that's it, but they couldn't run the ball when it mattered uh, in crunch time. They weren't able to execute some pass plays, and receivers couldn't get open. So, Conservative play calling. They Luckily, time ran out, and this game ended the way it did. But There was some conservative play calling. I, I did not like that at all. There was uh, The other negative, uh, Bryce Butler. The guy drops a couple balls and includes one that was an interception that wasn't even Pryor's fault. I mean, it's on his hands, and he drops it. Unacceptable there. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I, I did not like the way the Raiders got very conservative of them the entire second half. They forgot what offense was. They tried to sit on it. I know we won, and I know I should be happy, but they tried to sit on it. I don't like it when teams sit on the lead the way the Raiders did. And They were one or two plays away from losing this game. Very fortunate. Uh, some things happened. But yeah, the uh, Raiders... The only other negative I'll say is Jacoby Ford... He was awful. Uh, kick returning was awful from Taiwan Jones. He takes the ball out of the end zone, and he, he goes only to like the 8 or 9 yard line. Stupid. Very, very stupid uh, from what I saw. Uh, some stupid returns. He, he almost muffs two punts, Jacoby Ford. And then he gets that fumble to bring the Steelers back in the game. I'm very pissed off over that. This, this should be the end of Jacoby Ford. I mean, the coaches... He fumbles... One punts, and then later he almost muffs a second if it weren't for the Steelers guy touching the ball. And then he fumbles that ball later in the third. There was no excuses for that. and uh, Really just no excuses at all for that horrible performance like Ford. They should never have put him in the game once he had those two disasters as a punt returner. Now on to the positives. Uh, obviously, the defense... That's the only big positive of this game. Uh, Pryor, I know Pryor's run was nice, and don't get me wrong, it was cool, but it was kind of a lucky play. I don't, Steelers' defense just isn't what it used to be. They're, they're getting old and they're aging, apparently. Just, no offense, the read option should not go for that many yards. If you all bite on the play action or the handoff to fake McFadden, that's pretty bad defense. You just don't have that many lanes open. It, it's funny, it's cool, because we got the... We were on the right side of it, but that was some bad defense. Uh, defense for the Raiders came through, and they, they needed to come through because we looked like crap. Offensively, they did nothing, and they came up with turnovers. There was that interception by, I believe, Tracy. Or <coughs> there was that one interception by, I believe, Mike Jenkins, the other one by Tracy Porter, where he barely reaches bottom for it. They were giving the Steelers like nine lives this game because they were on the field so much. And that conservative play calling can't happen. Thank goodness the Raiders won. They held on. They did their job. It wasn't pretty. But a win's a win, and I, I know I should enjoy that. Really, though, the player of the game was Sean Sweeson. If he makes those two field goals, we could be seeing this game going the other way. Who knows what happens if he makes those field goals. This team would have been behind. I don't know if they would know how to dial up a two-minute drill. They got conservative again, just like the Chargers game. They got too conservative, and they made up just enough plays to win. And I guess the whole saying of just when baby happens, and uh, it's fine, but defense was on the field way too much. Pass rush was a lot better. A lot of tackles for loss. I mean, defense played well. They gave up some yards at the end, but <coughs> they got to give credit to Jason Tarver. They, they played about as good as you can because... They give up that punt return that goes to the 30, and they still get an interception out of it. So, hey, I'll take it. It's ugly. It just when baby happens. and uh, Hey, to win. Steelers are just the shells of their former selves. You can't call conservative play calling, though, when you're up. Just because you're up, it doesn't mean the game is over. And that's the only thing that was stressful. But a win's a win. It leaves a sour taste in my mouth just a little bit, but... We won, and thank goodness we did. See you guys later. Go Raiders.